in this question it is given that the transistors q1 and q2 are biased at a collector current of 2.6 milliamperes remember that one biased at biased at a collector current of 2.6 milliamperes that means dc collector current is 2.6 milliamperes biasing is always related to the dc it is not related to ac okay the definition of biasing is biasing is mainly used to keep the transistor either in one of the regions active region saturation region or cutoff region with the help of dc voltage sources along with resistors okay so biased collector current means dc collector current that is capital ic is 2.6 milliamperes and assume the transistor current gains are sufficiently large to assume collector current is equal to emitter current collector current is same as emitter current that means ic is equal to ie okay? and it is given that vt thermal voltage is 26 millivolts we are going to calculate voltage gain v0 by vs in the mid frequency range mid frequency range the meaning of mid frequency range means where you can make microfarad capacitors are acting as short circuit and picofarad capacitors that means junction capacitances between collector and base and emitter and base those are picofarad capacitances which can are acting as open circuit okay under mid band frequency range no capacitor is present whether it may be microfarad capacitor or picofarad capacitor microfarad capacitors are generally cc cb ce cc cb ce are microfarad capacitors and cb dash c and cb dash e which are also considered as c mu and c pi okay so they are picofarad capacitors picofarad capacitors act as open circuit microfarad capacitors are acting as short circuit under mid band frequency range now we need to draw the AC equivalent circuit then you are going to calculate voltage gain for the given circuit okay and when you are going to write AC equivalent circuit you must consider okay along with these two you must consider one more one one more thing is DC voltage sources are going to be shorted DC voltage are shorted if any DC currents are flowing then they will be acting as open circuit why is this because now the circuit consisting of one AC voltage source and one DC voltage source another DC voltage source is here that means the circuit response is affected by three voltage sources either they may be AC or DC so you can use superposition theorem to calculate the overall response superposition theorem says okay overall response can be obtained by considering individual voltage sources one at a time by that time the other voltage sources are going to be neglected if any voltage source is present that will be acting as short circuit if any current source is present it will be acting as open circuit so using superposition theorem you will consider only one source at a time and we assume no other sources are present that is neglect other sources the other sources may be current source or voltage source if it is voltage source that will be replaced with a short circuit if it is current source it will be replaced with a open circuit okay so based on that one now we are going to draw the ac equivalent that means the other dc voltages are going to be acting as ground okay so look at the q2 transistor which will be given some special importance okay q2 transistor if you identify the terminals this is emitter of q2 it is collector of q2 it is base of q2 and collector is at ground ac ground and base is also at ac ground because capacitor is acting as short circuit base is also at ac ground so that means base and collector are shorted when base and collectors are shorted okay it will be looking like this way this is called as diode connected transistor diode connected bjt okay it is simply replaced with a equivalent circuit as a diode and it is also replaced with a resistor the resistance across the diode how do you calculate the resistance across that one 
it is a diode connected BJT where it can be replaced with a simple resistance because these two points this is emitter and you can treat it as either base or collector both are going to be same only ok both are connected to ground okay. and for any transistor for any transistor IC is equal to GM times of VBE this equation is holds whether the terminals are connected or whether the terminals are not connected that means base and collector whether they connected or not the currents are going to be related with respect to VB as IC is equal to GM times of VBE okay. and IC is approximately equal to IE because IE is equal to IC plus IB and given that one IB can be neglected because transistor current gains are sufficiently large to assume collector current is equal to emitter current so IC is equal to IE so you can write it as IE resistance means IE uh, sorry VBE divided by IE you can write resistance across this part can be written as voltage across this part divided by current flowing through it current flowing through it is IE voltage across this one is VBE so VBE by IE means from this equation you can write it as 1 by GM so simply this part of Q2 is replacing with 1 by GM now the effective circuit is represented in this way for AC equivalent it is ground and there is a resistor it is Q1 transistor and replacing with 1 by GM this is Vs ok now draw the AC equivalent circuit and calculate draw the AC equivalent circuit and calculate mid band voltage gain that is enough ok now draw the AC equivalent circuit to draw the AC equivalent circuit first replace the transistor symbol with equivalent either H parameter model or R parameter model R parameter model is more convenient than H parameter model ok so using R parameter model if you replace the transistor symbol I am replacing with R parameter model ok where the resistance is R pi and it is indicated with a current source ok it is a current source which is GM times of VBE this is base it is collector and it is emitter now add the remaining elements because the symbol of transistor is replaced with equivalent H, uh, equivalent R parameter model and next attach the other element of the circuit for simplicity what I can do is instead of writing this emitter this much big okay, I am only writing this up to this point and this I am saying it as emitter okay. now the other element means across base it is connected Vs so Vs is connecting across base towards ground so this is ground and it is connected to base next emitter emitter is connected to 1 by GM so from emitter there is a resistor towards ground that is 1 by GM and collector is connected with 1 kilo ohm collector is connected with 1 kilo ohm towards ground so this is ground 1 kilo ohm so this is AC equivalent circuit now V0 means V0 is the voltage across collected to ground and Vs is this voltage from base to ground current flowing through collector is IC IC is equal to GM VBE so V0 can be written as minus IC into 1 kilo ohm so that can be written as minus GM VBE into 1 kilo ohm ok this 1 kilo ohm we will consider GM into VBE is equal to V0 but what we require is V0 by Vs so you must express VBE in terms of Vs VBE is the voltage from base to emitter 
and from emitter this point this point is also treated as either base of q2 or collector of q2 so this is base of q2 or collector of q2 so if it is b2 this is also treated as vbe this is also treated as vbe and since it is p mos transistor the voltage i am taking it as plus minus vbe is negative for the p mos transistor so this is plus and it is minus and that can be also verified also proved because the current is flowing in this direction current coming from base is neglected because of current gains are sufficiently large and same ic is also flowing through this one and current always flows from more positive voltage to less positive voltage so this vbe is uh, written in this way so from the diagram okay take kvl vs can be written as two times of vbe so if you write kvl or from this point to this point it is vs if you are going in this direction this is two times of vbe so vbe can be written as vs by 2 okay now write it minus gm times of vs by 2 so from this one v not divided by vs is equal to minus gm by 2 where gm is equal to ic divided by vt ic is 2.6 milliampers and vt is 26 millivolts so this is equal to gm is equal to 0.1 so 0.1 divided by 2 which is 0.5 v naught by vs is equal to 0.5 and it is voltage gain 0.5 into kilo ohm k we are going with k means 10 power plus 3 so this is 50 so 0 0.1 divided by 2 it is not 0 0.5 it is 0 0.05 0 0.05 into 10 power 3 means 50 so voltage gain for the uh, given circuit diagram is 50 so the right answer for this question is 50 thank you